JamesL.Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global. With me, I've got trainer Peter Fury and also joined by promoter Dave David. Higgins. How are you, sir? Good, thank you. Good. Now, it's quite great to see you two like this together. I mean, we had a little bit of an outburst on Monday, done tremendous traffic on the channel, everybody's seen it. What can you tell us for those that want to wear? What was going on? What was that whole situation sort of involved in? Well, it, it wasn't premeditated, like, we didn't discuss it. I, uh, I was pretty fired up about the referee, um, and, so, and I don't blame the Fury camp, but I needed to make a point, and I wanted the point to be big in the media that we, uh, the officials weren't quite as neutral as they could be, and so I thought um, coming in a bit late and making a bit of noise would cause it to lead the headlines rather than be more buried, and I, you know, it was um, had to be done quickly, you know, and it sort of all flowed, and it, it all ended. When things are contrived or made up, they're not really real. I think I'm just very pleased that Peter accepted my apology and said no hard feelings. Now, I mean, we've all put our foot in things. We've all done things we regret. I mean, do you generally regret what, regret what happened? Would you do that again in the same circumstances? I well, mean, it depends, how does that work? It depends on how you measure that. It, we got a new referee. We might have anyway, but we certainly got a new referee the next day or day after. And the, the fight was getting headlines across the UK, which I hope helped with tickets and uh, YouTube viewership. And in New Zealand it made headlines, and a lot of them were negative about me. So I kind of took one for the team, is how I see it. Now, the stuff with the referee, with Terry O'Connor not wanting, for you guys not wanting Terry O'Connor to be the official, is he no longer referee in the fight? I'm led to believe he will now be a judge, is that correct? Yeah. We've been told that he's he swapped to a judge and that there's a new referee. You know, our team, Kevin, told me that he's happy with the new referee. So, the new referee is Marcus McDonald, yeah. I'm led to believe, who is also British. So, can you see the, the point, and maybe people are a bit confused as to what, what was the whole issue with, with Terry? Okay, it was that he'd done Huey's last two fights, and then when we Googled him, there were, he was involved in a few controversies. So, I'm guided by the train, I'm not a boxing expert. Our trainer is a lot happier with McDonough as a referee than he was with O'Connor. Okay. Peter Fury, if I can bring you in at this point, sir. I mean, probably a bit of shock for yourself on Monday. You was, probably wasn't expecting that. Can you talk us through it a little bit in your own words, the whole situation and how it's evolved to now? It was just what it is. It, uh, it's not really a problem. It, uh, it was excite a bit, bit of excitement. Uh, rose my temperature up a little bit, briefly. <laughs> But uh, back to normal. No, look, it's uh, it's what it is. I can understand their frustrations, and uh, it's just you know at best happened. But it's only uh, tongue in cheek stuff. It doesn't matter. I, there's nothing personal here. Uh, you know, you know, he's done a good job. You know, I'm not saying that because he's there. I told him if he talks that to me again, I'm going to kill him. So <laughs> only joking, by the way. Oh, yeah. No, of course. But um, basically. There is no problem, you know, there's been a lot of outside people are getting involved saying the fight's not going to happen, you know, it's this, it's that, you know, trying to kill it as well, trying to kill the ticket sales, trying to kill the promotion, you know, anything to stop it from happening, you know, booking fights on top of ours, you know, and I always said to David, I said, look, we know about this in advance because we know how tricky people get, so I said to David, I said, look, fight's on, you know, they wanted to come to England, we was on the rematch, we was happy to go to New Zealand, but that didn't happen, so come to England, better for us as well. So basically, everything we said, we stood on to. It was only other people getting involved that caused a few frustrations in it, but we're here now, the fight's happening, and it's, it's, it's all good. Okay. But he's, uh, nobody can criticise him, because he's done his job. They've got the money in escrow, David's had a, a Joseph Parker, sorry, he's got him a massive uh, payday. You know, so it's all good, you know, that's what a promoter's there to do, is protect his fighter. So people might look and think, oh, you know, we've got a guy here with a world title from New Zealand in the middle of nowhere, out, out the way, and he can just come here and take liberties, yeah? But he's done a good job. So we're here, and that's it. And when it, we haven't played any tricks to get him here, by the way. He wanted to come with Joseph Parker here. So it wasn't a case of trying to manipulate or do anything. I just said, look, there's the fight number one mandatory, let's work it out. And we worked it out and got the deal done. 
Well, it's great to see you two squash any animosity that was between <laughs> you, because we want to let the, the fighters do the fighting, and exactly. hopefully we get a great contest between both your guys on Saturday. Well, I th I'd say Peter was critical to this deal happening. I've dealt with a few Brits now, in promotion managers talk to a few. I tell you what, some, he's one of the most straight up of the lot where what he says is delivered, you know. And other, I can't say that for others who I won't name, but, um, you know, I mean, Peter seen a man of his word, and, um, and you know, unfortunately, Eddie let us down, our tour group, they're really looking forward to meeting him, but I think Hearn. But Peter's going to step in and spend a bit of time chatting to them to, to make up for that. All right. Well, if there's anything you gentlemen want to add before we go, I'm glad the heated beef has calmed down a little bit. And um, as I said, we look forward to a great contest on I Saturday. think it's going to be a great fight. Uh, you know, the two, these two young fellas, you know, i got nothing but good to say about both of them. Always have done anyway. You know, I know one's my son, and, uh, but this is a professional sport. When that bell goes, it's down to them. You know, and both of them want it. So we're going to see on the night who, who moves forward. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.